All right, next question here. Any thoughts on the new LHR cards for NVIDIA and announcements saying that only AIB cards will have the limiters? So that's the light hash rate limiter, right? Yeah, so if you're not super familiar with what NVIDIA's been doing in the market at the moment, they've been implementing these LHR cards, first with the RTX 3060 when it was announced, basically to detect the Ethereum mining algorithm and very similar algorithms and limiting the performance of the GPUs to 50% of what they could do in terms of hashing. So NVIDIA's just recently re-announced LHR cards. So I think they're going to be implementing it for the 3060 Ti, the 3070, and the 3080, mm -hmm. uh, but not the 3090. So new versions of those cards will also come with this feature enabled. So in terms of thoughts on it, I mean, we polled our audience recently and it seemed like about 60% of you guys wanted NVIDIA to go down this path of limiting mining performance with, I guess, the idea being that if that you can't hash as quickly on these GPUs, then they're not going to be worth as much on, mm -hmm. say, the scalper market because, generally speaking, the prices that you see on the scalper market are closely related to their mining profitability. Mm -hmm. So if the mining performance is limited, then that's going to potentially improve that. So from that perspective, I guess you could sort of understand what NVIDIA is trying to do and how that might help the situation. Um, as to whether I think it's the right thing to be done personally, I think there's definitely pros and cons to each way that a lot of people tend to bring up. You know, obviously reducing the mining performance is one thing, but then if the limiter gets basically, I don't know, got around by Un people, unlimited <laughs> yeah unlimited removed you know the restriction gets removed by people say in a mining farm yep. then potentially actual miners like professional miners are not getting the limited performance but then a casual everyday buyer that just wants to you know make up the additional cost of their gpu get a bit of return yep. from their investment um those people end up suffering so I think from that perspective, it's really hard to make just a definitive call and say this is a good idea or this is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm certainly in favor of NVIDIA at least trying to do something, although I guess from another perspective, I'm not keen on like the marketing angles. If it's only a marketing thing as opposed to a legitimate reason, yeah. then that becomes a downside. So again, it's a very, very tricky and complicated proposition. As for the second part of this question, which says... Uh, the announcement saying that only the AIB cards will have the limiters. That's been another factor that's come up, which is that the Founders Edition cards that NVIDIA sells through their website are supposedly do not have the LHR limiter. Hmm. So, and obviously the RTX 3090 across all AIBs and the Founders Edition won't have it either. And I don't really understand the, the reasoning behind that. NVIDIA says it's because they're selling their cards at MSRP. I don't really see why that would have any impact on it because often... You sell a card to MSRP to a miner, and then they just go try re either resell it on the used market or the the scalper market or whatever. So I think it doesn't it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm not quite sure why they would do it. If they really wanted to make it more for the gamers, then surely selling it at the MSRP with the LHR feature enabled would kind of be the gold standard for gamers because you know that miners aren't going to try and flood in mm. and purchase those cards because if they're only on sale for like a couple of seconds, yeah. then you want to make sure that gamers are primarily interested in it as opposed to miners. So, yeah, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but again, mm. there's a lot of complicated things going on with this and it's still up in the air how effective the actual limitation will be. We know NVIDIA kind of dropped the ball a bit with the RTX 3060, releasing a driver that just yep. completely removed the limits. So hopefully um, this round is a bit more effective in that regard. Yeah, if they add the limiter and then it makes it much easier to buy a graphics card, then I think you have your answer. Yeah, so, so proof will be in the results. Yep.